Hey, what's going on guys? This is X25 and welcome back to some more Stormworks. Yes, I am finally back in Stormworks after like two, three years. Yeah, so if you're wondering what happened, I personally don't really know what happened either. So yeah, I tried, it was around when, it was around the time when the Megalodon update came out and I tried to start the game because I was going to cover that update and the game just went launch and yeah after multiple attempts I'm like okay I'm just gonna let the game sit there and do its thing and maybe in a future update that will get fixed and lo and behold we are sitting here right now but ironically enough as of recent Wreckfest stopped working so yeah that's a sad day for that and I'm really bummed about it because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get some of the event vehicles which I am really really disappointed about I really hope that I will eventually be able to get those vehicles in the future sometime. But yes, without further ado, let's get into this video. If you are enjoying Storks on the Storks's return on the channel, if you do want to see more of this game, at least for those of you who do still remember it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, yes, we are uh, on the the mainland, which came out in the mainland update. I don't know what's going on over here, but okay. Um, wait, is that? Okay, yeah, that's a little bit strange. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's a little bit strange. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can do that. So yeah, this is the mainland that came. This came out in a. I don't really know when this update came out. It was pretty. It was a long time ago. I know that. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna fly around here. We're gonna cover some other things. Like there was also an environment mod update, which allows you to modify like the environment and to properly place buildings in the actual game which I did do some of that there might be one of them over here actually no it might be on the other airport because the mainland does have two airports and other people have made custom airports like there's two custom airports that I do have downloaded but they're not like actually here at the moment hold on I'm gonna increase the, the throttle here Oh wait, I have brakes on, don't I? Oh, no wonder we're not moving, okay. Okay, so yeah, let's just taxi. This is an Airspeed Express cargo plane, which it looks, this plane looks like a Beechcraft. And yeah, I thought this would be a nice little plane to fly around in. It's, it's simple enough, right? And I am having a little bit of a hard time steering this thing. Hold on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't really know what I'll be doing, but I did. I have found a a bunch of uh, cool stuff. Like there's uh, some cool cargo planes with the uh, actual loading mechanism that you would usually see on an airport, which I find amazing. Like I really dig that. I dig aviation a lot in games like these. So yeah. Um, Let's try and uh, work our way over to here. If I can keep this thing going straight. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, gradual. Oh no, I think the controls are inverted. Oh, that wouldn't make sense. I think some of them are inverted. Oh, there's the train station. I might stop by there. Because I did spawn in some, uh, I did, I might want to try going around by train. And there's also some forest fires we might be able to do in the future. Some forest fire missions if you guys want to see some of those. Because another part of the mainland update is that there are now trees on every island. To an extent, at least. Like, it's on every island. I don't think, I think, I don't think the creative island has the trees. Because, you know, it's literally mostly mostly in our official island, like the creative island is. So yeah, that would make sense if it doesn't really have trees that that much. But yes, we are taxiing our way to the end of the runway. Hold on, I'm gonna increase the airspeed. We also have a, a new multiplayer spawn area, which allows people to build, to spawn in their own creations. Like they don't have to wait for the art person that was a huge thing 
And actually, we have airports with longer airstrips now. Like, they're, the two airports are on the mainland. They have very long airstrips. The multiplayer island, which I ta which I just talked mentioned, uh, it does have a long airstrip. Like, the very first airport that had a realistic airstrip was the Arctic airstrip, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it did, which is kind of cool. Okay, uh, we are ready to go, so let's go full throttle here. Oh, wow, this thing moves. Oh, whoa, okay. That was really quick. Okay, uh, landing gear is four. Oh, look at that. It tucks up, it tucks up away nicely. That was really clean. Yeah, I might do a bunch of cargo missions if I get the chance to do so. Wait, hold on a minute. Can I change the settings? Motion blur, bloom, shadow quality, shadow resolution. View distance. I would like to see that much. Yeah, the, the view distance has been updated too. Which, actually my computer doesn't does seem to run pretty good still. I was afraid that might cause a bit of lag. Hold on, what other options do we have? A vehicle foam. I don't know what that is, but it's all enabled, so I'm not gonna do that. Tree quality, high, sure. Monitor quality, sure. Okay, so yeah, here's the mainland. As you can see, yes, it's big. This kind of reminds me of like Florida a bit. My, except it, it would probably be a lot more densely packed with trees. There is a town somewhere. Uh, there's a wind farm down here. There is a fishing town. I think it's what, that's what it's called. But yeah, we are now our cruising altitude. Yeah, this, this airplane flies really beautifully. It does have an autopilot too, so let's turn that on. I really hope this doesn't send us into an immediate dive. Is it? Okay, good, it isn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, this it has a very good aisle pilot. But yes, yeah, so as you can see, this is a really nice... Wait. Hold on. Is there an altitude set? I'm kind of scared. I don't really trust the autopilot that much. Oh wait, I need the uh, I need the cabin lights on, don't I? Sure, yeah, cabin light. Here we go. Yeah, now I can see a little bit better. Oh yeah, there's also these screens that got changed. So now you have like digital instruments, like the artificial horizon, and that looks like a GPS. It looks like. Yeah, that, I think that's what it is. And then you have all these little gauges, which I'm pretty sure was were in the game last time we played it. I don't really know. Like, it's been so long. Like, okay, so we are now coming over. Uh, we are opening a bit of the map. Looks like we are going down this way. We are going down south. It uh, looks like we have a train station down there. And I see some houses. That might be a town down there. Hold on a minute. What am I looking at here? Does it show? Yeah, there is a... I know that there's a spawn somewhere. I think that is the town. There might be two. I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember. There might be at least two towns. No, that's definitely... Yeah, I think, I'm think i pretty sure that is the town, actually. So that's that. Yeah, this is awesome. And there is a port over there. Actually, this part of the island... Well, what just happened? Yeah, this part of the island looks a little bit barren. I'm pretty sure... Uh, one of the custom airports is around here. Well, at least if I had it spawned in, it would be around here. And over here is something called Frantic's Lighthouse. Those of you who have watched Frantic, it's actually over there. We can actually see it. This thing is actually descending a little bit. I'm just now noticing that. Hold on, we're going to disengage the autopilot. We're going to turn around here. We're going to fly manually now. But I do like how this thing flies. I want to find the other airport. Like the other default airport in the game. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit strange. Hold on. Let's uh level out here. 
Whoa, okay, that was a little bit strange. Okay, I don't want to stall, so we're gonna... We're gonna do that. Like, you set a waypoint in the off how it will go to it? I don't know. I don't think it's that advanced. Like, it does have an alpine, which mean, which I think it's just for stabilization. So that way you don't have to constantly make corrections. You don't need to make the little tiny corrections. So, yeah, we are turning around at the moment. We'll try and do. Yeah, the... I don't really like the... The... The trim stuff here. Like, it... Like, I don't really like the the fact that you need to make make trim. Like, it's not, like, direct like the ailerons. It's not like the ailerons. It controls for the pitching yaw. I don't like it stay... I don't like the fact that it stays there. Like, how much... D depending on how much you, uh... How much input you put into the... You put into the actual control surface here. So yeah, I'm going to try and descend here. I'm going to try. I probably should have gotten a faster plane or something because this is, this one's actually slow. Although it's a Beechcraft, so you can't really expect much from it. It can't. It's not really the. Fa it's not the fastest plane in the world, but it is still nice to fly around. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? There, the airport that we took off from is back there. I think it's down there. Wait, where are we? Yeah, we're heading back up towards the area. Yeah, we're now we're uncovering this part. So, yeah, we're going to continue turning. I keep hitting Q and E like it's going to do something, but it isn't. I think I've been playing Kerbal Space Program a little bit too much. I'm too used to those controls, although do, some of the pla some planes do have Q and E for yaw. I mean, roll. Some planes do have Q&E for some control surfaces, but not many, that's for sure. It's been a while since I've seen a plane that actually has that. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see the other airport from here. Oh, oh wait, if you look over there, you can see uh, mountains with the snow caps, and you can see the wind farm. Oh, and you can see a drawbridge, too. Yeah, that you can actually go over to that bridge and open it. You can also see the train tracks, uh, because this is connected to the train line, the train track system that's in this game. All right, so where are we going? I'm pretty sure, like back when I was going to try and record a video for this, like the first idea I had was I was I was going to try and build a boat, like build my own boat, build my own creation. But that obviously didn't happen because, look, I wanted to build a boat because I didn't really have that amount of skill set like I do in other games like Brick Rigs because I am a huge builder in that game, unlike Stormworks. But yeah, I want, I did want to build my own uh, boat at one point, but that obviously didn't happen. And now I eventually, and I eventually just like abandoned that idea. Now we are here. Actually, I need to check the fuel. Where is the fuel at? Is there a fuel gauge? Clock, airspeed, generator output, battery. Uh, altitude, airspeed, airspeed. Why are there like three airspeed gauges? Huh. And there's apparently there's a speaker. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Wait, is that a checklist? I think that's a checklist. Oh wait, no, that's a radio. Okay, yeah, there's there was also a radio update, so now you can like if you have if you're on multiplayer and you're playing with a bunch of other people, you can like communicate to people. And I also did download some radio stations for the environment mod. Yeah, I want to try and uh, descend a bit. I am getting a little bit too high. Yeah, let's try and descend.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the other airport is on the other side of the mainland. That was laggy. Yeah, I might do cargo missions in this game now that because I found a bunch of uh, cool looking cargo planes and they actually have their own set of vehicles made by the same person that actually work with those cargo planes. So I feel like that'll be really, really fun. Yeah, I might do a lot of aviation missions in this. Because, like, I feel like this is, like, the one game where I can fly planes for an extended period of time without getting bored. Um, like, unlike the hardcore simulators, like, there, there's no fast-forward time button. because So you're just basically stuck sitting there trying to fly a plane in real time, which isn't, like, which isn't an easy task, I must say. I did have, I do have Flight Simulator X on my computer system, on my PC. And I did try play it, but now it's getting outdated to the point where it doesn't really work. Like, after an hour, it just crashes. Although, which is understandable. It is old. It is, like, 11 years old now, which is pretty... It's a pretty old game. Although, Flight Sim Microsoft is now coming out with a new flight simulator, which is awesome. And I am looking forward to that coming out. If you And let me know if you do want to see something like that. What is that down there? There is something... Oh, it's a heliport. Okay, yeah, I forgot. There was... It's part of the environment mod. And there's another train station and port down there, too. Hold on, can we see anything else? I know that there's a lakeside house somewhere. Oh, wait, there's another town. Okay, yeah, so I was right. There, were, There is two towns. You just need to look for them. I think there's a lakeside house somewhere, although I don't really know where that is. Let's see. Where is the other airstrip? I think I'm getting close. Like I have to be. Like I'm now on the other side of the mainland area. So we should be getting close. And then we can move on. Because I do want to spawn in a Megalodon. Yeah, that was the... Yeah, there's a Megalodon. there are Megalodons in this game now. Which was part of the update. It was the update I was going to cover before Stormworks, you know, crashed on me and never... And like went silent for the longest time. And something else, uh, something new I learned is uh, that Storm it doesn't really like uh, Storm doesn't really like the game capture on OBS. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. Apparently, there's a factory in the middle of the mountains. Oh wait, is that a mine? Hold on, I want to see this. Oh yeah, I think I can see it. Yeah, I can just barely see it, but that's definitely a mine. Or an oil refinery. I think that's where you can get, like, fuel or something. It's one of the places where you can get fuel, at least. Okay, let's see. I might do some train stuff in this game, too. Because it does have a nice train system. And especially now with the mainland update, it's going to make things a lot more fun. Yeah, that was another series I planned to start in Stormworks. Like, do train rescue stuff. Like, do train maintenance things. But, again, never happened because, you know, I don't really need to say it at this point because you guys know. Everyone knows about the incident with Stormworks with me. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh, I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to, like, do a reference to something. Oh, wait, I think I see the airport, maybe. Oh, wait, yeah, that is the airport. Okay, hold on. I found the R airport. So let's let's uh, try and land this plane. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm a pretty good pilot, especially in this game. I'm actually a pretty good pilot in any game that has aviation. Uh, I wouldn't say good. I am pretty decent. I'm a pretty decent pilot, I must say. Okay, but I do need to start uh, descending. Hold on, can I, I'm going to put the flaps down. Oh, you need to hold it, okay. I didn't quite know how the flaps worked, so... Oh, no, it's one of those, isn't it? Like, you have the flaps down at high speeds, it starts pulling up. Hold on, I'm going to 
cut the throttle a bit. And I think this airport has a fire station, which is part of the environment, the environment mod. Like one of the environment mods I made. All right, so. All right, landing gear. I don't have to hold down the key for that, which is good. All right, key, gear is down and locked. I am not coming at this. I am coming at this at a really bad angle. And was and didn't I say like five seconds ago I was a pro pilot? <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Hold on. I'm going. To, I'm going to still see if I can land this thing. I should be able to. Right? I don't know. I'm going to come back around if I can't. Oh, fudge. I shouldn't be able to. Okay. Why did I come back in the cockpit? Yeah, I was going to decrease my airspeed more. I was going to decrease the throttle more just so that I could slow down. Oh, wait. I actually might do this. I don't know why why is this runway have lights? That's a little bit strange. Oh wait, does this like air does this airport have like modifications to it or something? Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm guessing this is where one of the radio stations are. That's interesting. Okay, we are going super slow. Hold on, I'm gonna increase the throttle. I keep hitting Q and E like it's going to do something. It's not. I don't know why I keep hitting Q and E. Yeah, but there should be a fire station at one of these airports. I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, time to land. And there might be a third airport. I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure there's only two here. All right, come on. This is going to be a weird bank angle. Oh, yeah. This is really weird. This is really wrong. Oh, no way. I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to do this. What am I? What did I say? Pro pilot. I just realized I've been, I've been flying this thing for at least 23 minutes. Hold on, I'm gonna go into cockpit. This is probably a bad time to do it though. All right, let's try and land this puppy. Yeah, I think this is part of the environment mod, the whole the runway lights, because runway lights shouldn't really be on right now because it's in the middle of the day. <gasps> Oh, fudge, I pitched down a little bit too quickly there. Oh, come on, I'm going to, I need to touch down right now before I actually... Oh, I actually touched. I touched ground. Uh oh Come on. Come on. Oh, fudge. I am nose gearing. Hey, look at that. I landed. All right, I'm going to on the parking brake. I am going to get out. I am going to get out. I Oh, wait. Oh, that's a bad place to put a door, I must say. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going out a different way. That's a bad idea. Yeah, I'm going out the back. <laughs> that's kind of like a bad. That's kind of a bad idea. Oh wait, I think the door uh, broke off one of the propellers. Okay, yeah, I definitely made an oopsie there. Okay, yeah, but that's. But other than that, it's successful. Yeah, but 
though, as the saying goes, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. So yeah, that was uh, kind of a good landing. All right, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go and uh, get a boat so we can get hit by a megalodon. Okay, so if you're now wondering where I am, so I just spawned in a boat because I am now at a dock. And yeah, we're going to take this thing out. Uh, if I can find the bridge, I think this is a ferry of some kind because I'm pretty sure all of these things are seats. Oh, what's Porte? Why do I feel like this is in a different language? Oh, here we go, bridge. Yeah, this is definitely in a different language. Sink lever. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait, so lamp A is not. Um, interface? I know, I can understand that. Anchor? No, okay. I think that's motor. Apparently there's a megaphone in this ship. I really should have put done English. I probably do not want that on. Wait a minute, there's a there's a systems button, isn't there? I have no idea. Okay, hold on. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get a ship that I can actually understand the labels on. Okay, so I am now in a different ship, and I can actually uh, I can actually uh, read it, which is good. Uh, uh, deck lights, nav, yes, clutch. I just want to keep that zero for now. Throttle, I am definitely going to do that. Uh, horn, bow thruster, fire suppression, intake valve. Probably want that on. Coolant pumps, yes. Fuel pumps, yes. Switch view, upper mast. No, but not build pump. Um. Starter. All right. Oh yeah, and I spawn in an area where, yeah, you can see the the train bridge from here, which looks, which honestly looks cool. Oh, that does mean we need to uh, kind of turn. Please do not tell me this boat is going to be slow. If this is going to be slow, I am not going to be happy. Of course, this boat's going to be slow. I pick a boat that I can read, with a, with, that I can read the labels with, but I didn't pick a boat that's fast. I did not really think that through, now did I? <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, this, oh wait, actually it's, it's picking up speed. Wait, hold on, where's speed? Temp, RPS. Hold on a minute, where's the speed? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a radio. Uh, generators. Uh, RPS. Yeah, I can't really see speed. Very strange. Hmm. Wait, is that the the speed indicator? What is that? That's weird. That might be our speed, 21 knots. Yeah, I don't really read knots. I'm not really familiar with that speed system, but I that doesn't really sound fast, I must admit. Yeah, that does, uh, that does, uh, that does change a few things now, does it? Um, yeah, hold on. Uh, without further ado, let's spawn the Megalodon. 
All right, where did it spawn? Actually, that's a good question. Where did it spawn? Does it does it not spawn in this area? Like, is the water too shallow for it? The water might be too shallow. That that's kind of a bummer. Hold on, I want to try and get out an open ocean, so I'm going to do that real quick, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I am now a decent distance away from uh, the island, so we're going to try and spawn Megalodon. Because I tried to spawn one in earlier, and it didn't really work. So where is it? Something spawned in. Oh, wait, there it is. I see it. Yeah, I don't really know what happened the first time I tried to spawn it, but yeah, there's the Megalodon. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what happened to the, the upper mast, uh, yeah, I may or may not have accidentally hit the the bridge on my way on my way under it. Even though this this thing's the mast is foldable, it's able to be folded right there. It can, you can fold the upper mast, but yeah, I didn't do it in time. Obviously, where is the Meg? Oh wait, I can see it. What is it doing? Hey, hold on a minute. What is it doing? Oops. Is it coming? I can't really see it. Where am I? I cannot see anything under the water. Okay, that is a little bit creepy. Okay, it is moving though. I will give it that. Come on, do we need to give it help? Like, I feel like we need to actually turn towards it. Because I feel like it's going to be really, really slow getting here. <laughs> Why is it going so slow? Like, this boat isn't going very fast. The Megalodon could probably go faster than this thing. Yeah, for some reason, it's not going that fast. That is really strange. Oh wait, here we go, here we go. It's actually trying to get into position and try and hit it. Yeah, I think it's going to try and go for the engine first. Which would make sense. I don't know, I'm just going to edit out what... Like, until it actually, uh, until it actually comes here, so, yeah. Okay, for some reason, uh, the first Megalodon didn't want to go at me. So I respawned it and this one looks like it actually wants to uh it wants to eat me. I don't know, I can only look under there for a brief time. Like you can kinda tell like like you can when you put the camera underwater you can kinda see it without the water for a certain amount of time, but then it just goes dark because you can't really see that well underwater for some reason. It's a little bit strange, but yes, I am able to do that. And yeah, it does look like it's coming at me. So it should be here any minute. I don't know when it's gonna exactly pop out of the wire and like put a hole through this boat though. It is pretty close though. It is getting pretty darn close. It So it should be any moment now. I just need to wait. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting close. Hold on, I want to go into photo mode. Oh, oops. That was the wrong button. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, come on. Really? That's as far as I can go? Hold on. Now I can actually confirm that it's moving. I wish I could see better. Um... Okay, no, that's... Oh, yeah, he's definitely moving. Like, you can actually tell now. Yeah, I'm going to get out of photo mode. Are you serious? Is he seriously going to miss? I went through all the... Okay, that was a little bit strange. Yeah, I just uh, heard wind. Yeah, the Megalodon's literally 
Oh, wait, I can actually see it. It's, like, it's hard to tell, but you can, you can just barely see it. It's right there to the, just behind the boat. Oh, wait, is that too, oh, no, that's just a short, that's just a swordfish. Okay, yeah, this, this, uh, Megalodon does not really want to, uh, hit me now, does it? This Megalodon is very incompetent, I'm... Like it's like it's it's not as aggressive as the other as the other ones. Like it doesn't really do it. That's kind of uh disappointing to be honest. Hold on. Wait a minute. Um I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think the the first Megalodon that we tried to spawn in, yeah, I think it's, I think it now wants to try and have a go at us. Yeah, it's coming at, it's coming up behind us pretty quickly. Yeah, I tried to spam the spawn Megalodon button, it clearly did not do anything, but looks like the first one wants to actually, uh, have a go at us. He's coming at us at blistering speed, he's probably gonna give us a speed boost if he rams into us in the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going for the motor. Yeah, uh, the the second Megalodon is... I don't know what the second one's doing, so... Yeah, now I'm just relying on the first one. Yeah, he's definitely coming. He's definitely coming pretty quickly, though. So hopefully he'll actually hit us, and it won't be just a bust. That would be really, really... I will be really, really bummed if that does end up happening. It will just end up being a bust and, like, he ends up missing. Like, that would not be very impressive, now would it? Yeah, I'm just going to need to wait a few seconds because I think he has a, some distance to cover. There's no way this boat... It's only going at 21 knots. There's no way it can outrun it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this Megalodon, that Megalodon is coming straight towards us. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to go into the photo mode. Like, can I actually see it? I cannot... Oh, that is weird. You can actually see it like that. That is creepy. Is it coming closer? I don't know. I'll just cut to when it does eventually get here. Okay, um, so yeah. After Lily Ring, a million years is actually going to catch up to us. It's actually going to do it. Hold on. I'm just going to give it some help here. Because I feel like it's going to take a little, a while. It's still going to take a while. Okay, yeah, now I can just go back up. Whoops, wrong button. I accidentally alt tab to another window. Are you serious? It turns. You are so incompetent, you know that? You hear me, Meg? You're very incompetent. Hold on, is he doing one of those things where he's just going to turn back, or turn back around and just ram us on the side? I feel like that's what he's going to do. I don't know, this might take a bit. Also, I'm sorry if this video is a little bit dragging. I just want I just want the Megalodon to hit us. Like, just, just for the video. Oh, something tells me it's not really going to happen. Come on. Like, what is this? You're telling me that I've waited all this time just for you to avoid me? Oh my gosh. It's just literally just wait. I think I feel like this boat is way too slow. Like, see, now he's just turning... Okay, you know what? Uh, that's going to do for today's episode of Stormworks. I hope you guys enjoyed the return of the... The... Like, the... The content. And if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. It'll just be comical if it decides to hit me now. Yeah, I think it is going to hit me now.
Hold on. I actually want to just do this. Just ram it myself. He's turning away. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah, the tail doesn't even do damage. Okay, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.